Hey, it's Alex from Android Central, and this is the LG G3 Cat 6. This is an updated version of the G3 that's sold in South Korea with support for faster Category 6 LTE networks in that country. But from our perspective, that's not the most interesting thing about this phone. It also runs Qualcomm's new Snapdragon 805 processor along with the updated Adreno 420 GPU, meaning this is a faster G3 in more ways than one. On the outside, this is essentially identical to the Snapdragon 801 based G3 we've been using since late May. Being a Korean phone, you get this nifty slide-out antenna to use with a TV app, though that doesn't do anything outside of Korea. Besides that, the only external changes are branding. We've got SKT's branding up top, and the G3 Cat6 logo down below. Things are a little different behind the battery door, though. The micro SIM and SD card slots have been moved around, they're no longer seated on top of each other, and you now have this notch at the top of the SIM card slot, making it easier to remove your SIM without having to wiggle it free. The gold contacts for NFC and wireless charging are in different places too, so chances are the Cat6 won't work with accessories designed for the original G3. You've also still got a 3000 mAh battery, this is literally the same battery from the other G3, right down to the model number. And as it does with a lot of Korean phones, LG's packaging the G3 Cat6 with a spare battery, and this neat little external charger that also doubles as a stand for the phone itself. On the front you've got the same 2560x1440 resolution display as before. The white balance seems a little different on this Korean Cat6 model compared to the European G3 we've been using lately. The European model has cooler colours, whereas the Cat6 has warmer, slightly yellowish tint to it. So you'll notice a slight difference if you hold the two side by side. The displays seem to be tuned similarly as well, as you can see in the colour charts here. There's some contrast boosting going on, but not as much as the earlier G3 firmware versions. And we are seeing some artefacting around the red, suggesting these are being boosted more aggressively than other colours. The bottom line though is that the display still looks pretty good, not as bright or vivid as Samsung's latest Super AMOLED, but good enough for us and easy to see in bright sunlight. The big difference this time around is performance. The G3 Cat6 feels smoother and more responsive than the Snapdragon 801 based version, particularly in the LG launcher and scrolling in certain apps. The vanilla G3 has gotten better with the past few firmware updates, but it seems like the Snapdragon 805 is just more at ease with handling Quad HD display, likely due to the faster GPU. And synthetic benchmarks back that up too. CPU bound tests like Velamo's Metal show modest improvements thanks to the higher clock speeds and the updated Crate 450 architecture, but the more tangible improvements are in graphically intensive benchmarks, apps like GFX Bench and Epic Citadel where the Cat6 pushes 5 or more extra frames a second. If you're hoping for any huge improvement in battery life though, you might be disappointed, as we found in day-to-day -day use and in benchmarks that the G3 Cat6 has basically the same battery life as the original. We've been getting 16 hours between charges on mixed use, with over 4 hours of screen on time. That said, we've never been caught short with either device. On the software side, the G3 Cat6 runs the same LG UI as before. The only difference on this SKT branded model is you get a bunch of preloaded carrier apps, most of which we've removed or disabled here. Interestingly, SKT, the Korean carrier, also has its own UI, which replaces some of the LG apps and changes the way things look a little. Thankfully though, this is optional, and you're given a choice between the two it's set up. As for the G3 Cat6's cameras, as far as we can tell, they're identical to the other G3s. A 13 megapixel sensor with OIS+, Plus, LG's latest optical stabilisation tech, and laser-based autofocus. You also get 4K video recording capabilities, though there's the same 5 minute limit on 4K footage as before. Connectivity-wise, this phone is designed to be used on SKT in Korea, but if you import one, it's got support for two of the three main LTE bands used in Europe, 1800 and 2600 MHz, which means we've been able to use it on EE here in the UK over the past week. Data speeds are more or less as we'd expect them to be, but it does take longer to lock onto an LTE signal than phones that are designed to be used in Europe. So that's the LG G3 Cat6. It's a faster G3 that buyers in the West will need to import to get their hands on. We got our review unit from 28mobile.com, which is a Hong Kong based smartphone importer that's stocking the G3 Cat6 in black, white and gold. If you're picking up a G3 Cat6 to use outside of Korea, you'll want to double check band coverage first, but really this device is every bit as good as the original G3, only faster and with it addressing one of our big complaints with that phone, with quicker performance and smoother animations. For more on the LG G3 Cat6, check out our full review on androidcentral.com.